Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you uh, basic tricks in Vegas Pro 12. So, um, I have a lot of things that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. I'm going to just name them all off right now. Importing the video, splitting the video, moving the video with or without audio. Auto ripple, which I will show you guys that later. Uh, snapshot in the middle of a video to kind of pause it in one spot. Um, the speed of the video, reverse the video, um, make the video diagonal or upside down, transitions, and text media over the video, and then finally rendering the video. So what we're going to start out with is importing the video. So what we're going to do, go to videos. I'm just going to do recently recorded on my, um, on my Roxio. Um, I've recently edited did these and once you put them into Vegas it will create these SVKs which then you can delete so I'm gonna drag these two into here um, put them into my playback so then you will be able to actually see them um, actually see them which is right here okay, there we go. so if I hear it just fine if I want to make this Bigger, smaller, just drag your mouse. Um, I think I get it. Uh, I think that was just a knife, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so there. I'll just take this down for example. First off, S is split. So it will split your audio and video. To delete it, just press the delete key. Um, so now, uh, splitting and moving with audio. So if you wanted this to move with your audio or without, if you wanted it to move without, you would go here, and then you could move it halfway through or whatever. If you wanted it to move with it, you would drag it like that. So you would have to click that, line it up, and then, boom, it's normal again. So, that was moving auto ripple. This is very key, I think. This is, it gets really annoying if you have a long um, movie and you just, so if I wanted it to delete right here, right here, split. If I want to delete all of this, no, here, split. Crap. If I wanted to delete, the, the, the delete one. If I wanted to delete, oh my god, this little part right here, you would just click on it and um, uh, delete it. But if you had this off, which will be off for you, it would leave this gap, which is really annoying if you have a ton of other videos right here and you would have to move them all over. So, control Z, which is undo if you didn't already know that, auto ripple, delete, it's all good. It already lines it up. So, the next thing is um is a snapshot which is very very easy uh, i don't know what i just did um so if i wanted it to if i wanted to make it so that i got him right there and i wanted it to be like that like a snapshot right there because that's a pretty cool shot um i would go to best full Click on it, and then it will, oh, usually it will be here, and save. It won't be on best full for you, I'm just saying, um, I, I know it won't, I, I done the snapshot before, so it's already on best full. Save, and then it will come up right here, you can split it, oops. You can split it, and since you have auto ripple on, oops, I don't know, okay, there, um, so, there, and then this cool pick's gonna be pretty long, so I'm guessing I'm gonna need a little space, and then put that there, make this smaller, I don't know why this is being so stupid, but there. So I play it. It should look pretty cool. 
I mean, I guess it looks pretty cool. And, um, yeah. So, the next part is the speed of the video. I'm just going to delete everything in this to drag in a new one. So, I'm going to cut it right here. Um, so, then the speed of the video, you just go to the end of the video, press control. Makes a little squiggly line. Make it smaller. Real, it will be really, really fast. Great for time lapses because so you can adjust it. It's so laggy because it's so fast. And then make it bigger. Hold control and drag. And this will be like. So yeah, that's um how you do it. So then, uh, to reverse the the um. To reverse the video, like if you wanted it to play backwards, you could just reverse it, which is very easy. Move them back and forth. Going back live, yeah, it's kind of weird. So now upside down video, you can left or right click, go to video event pan crop, then flip it. Go to this top part, flip the video. I don't know why you would want it to be upside down, but that's kind of weird. I mean, I guess it's a cool feature. There's a lot to play with in this. You can zoom in, zoom out. There's the guy. So, whoa, that was weird. Um, so, I guess if you wanted it kind of on an angle, that'd be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. So, now, transitions. Transitions are fun. So, if I wanted it to be, if I wanted to have a transition... Wherever you want it, you're going to want to split the video. So, transitions, 3D shuttle. This is pretty cool. So, I'll put that there. And then I'm just going to exit out of that. I'm going to get close so I can see what I did. I don't know why that's like that. Um, okay. So, I go like this. I go like this diagonal. Um, yeah. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened is kind of weird. So I'm just going to control Z out of this. So yes. So now I'm going to choose a different one because that was kind of weird. Dissolve. Dissolve is a great example. So just a plain dissolve, my friends, um, is easy. It's very easy. I don't know why this is happening, but I'm just going to delete all of these clips and restart. So, Project Media, drag one in. Delete there. So, now I can make transitions, dissolve, and boom. Now I have a dissolve. So, when I play it, it will kind of slowly. And if I wanted to speed it up, obviously you can just that so and then if I wanted it or er, crap just to dissolve if I wanted it to slow down whoa there he is okay good so that's dissolving transitions so then I'm just gonna delete this um text media you go to insert text media and then you can pretty much wait for it and then you can just put hello or whatever you want and then it will come up. I'm going to make a new track for this so that it doesn't interfere. Got to drag it to the top so it's on top of the video. And then hello is there. So then you can even put transitions on that. I'm not going to show that because it's kind of taking too long on this whole video. So delete track. Um, music. So I would have to click this unlock button. Delete this. Go to my uh, folder music. Um, YouTube music, everyone knows what, um, Macklemore, um, their shop is, uh, so then you drag that in. Hey Macklemore, can we go to the shop? Yeah, it's already in. So then you could even go, um, insert audio envelopes and then pan, and then you could put add point, um, add point by right clicking and then make one part really like drop so that it's really loud and then goes really quiet so hey macklemore can we go to shopping what what i mean what? you couldn't really tell because there's a pause anyway but that's how you do it so exporting this video once you want this exported you go to render as you save it wherever you want it so i'm just gonna put youtube test 
and then browse I'm just gonna put it on my desktop so um there it's saved then what I'm gonna do is you go to scroll all the way to the top of the render where you can pick mp dot mp4 is one of the best render settings for video so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click the little down arrow on main concept avc slash a a C then Internet HD or Internet HD 1080p Internet HD 720p I usually do 720p because 720p still looks good and it isn't that big of a file 1080p looks pretty good or it looks great but it's a bigger file and when you're uploading things to YouTube it kind of gets annoying so 720p render and then what's it once it's done rendering um, it will say open folder or open and we'll open we'll play it open folder will go to the location where it was saved to which mine would be desktop so I'm not gonna actually render it because there's no point in actually rendering it for this tutorial because I don't actually need this so then once it's rendered you can pretty much do whatever you want with it um it's you're pretty much all set from there so um yes thank you for watching this was a uh, tips and tricks for Vegas Pro uh, 12, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials.